So we got to give kudos to uh, George Webb on this one. Right? George Webb uh, and Jason Goodman led the charge to expose uh, Imran Wan, the Pakistani spy in Congress, the spy ring, throughout the 2016 um, elections. And uh, went on to, Trump went on to call him the 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 uh, Pakistani mystery man in Congress. Right? That's Imran Awan. So Imran Awan is back in the news today. And again, we're vindicated. We, we knew this all along, that, that Imran Awan was in fact a, uh, an IT, quote IT guy, running um, congressional databases for Congress. And he illegally accessed uh, congressional data files a thousand, thousand times illegally. They don't have clearance to do it. This is a, this is a, uh, you know, guy who's tied in, in many, in many respects to Pakistani spy rings, right? So it also, the, the story, the, the article down below, if you want the, the real details, uh, the Daily Caller did an excellent job in exposing, uh, and talking about this. What happened was, is that Imran Awan right now is facing uh, bank fraud charges, right? And he um, the, the, it, he's using Chris Gowan. Chris Gowan is the is the Clinton's attorney, right? He he defended Bill Clinton, and he worked with Hillary Clinton in the uh, in the campaign, right? So so they got Chris Gowan. I mean, if you remember who Chris Gowan is, Chris Gowan is the guy that. Uh, Jason Goodman chased down the street and had a had a heated conversation. Jason, uh, you remember that? Watch Crowdsource the Truth, and you'll see Jason Goodman chase uh, Imran Awan and his attorney Chris Gowan down the street. Well, he chased Chris, but then he, then he chased Imran Awan himself down the street. So this the the, the the deal is this: what happened was that that the the. We've always known it that the D.C. Capitol Police confiscated all the evidence that would implicate uh, Imran Awan as being the leader of a spy ring, a hack ring in Congress, where they're basically he had Debbie Wasserman Schultz's passwords, and many congressional uh, 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 characters were involved. Many, many senators, many, many. Uh... The point of the story is that. That we've always known that that the system is corrupt, right? That if you're a politician like Debbie Wasserman Schultz or her, her brother, who's the assistant attorney general in D.C. or district attorney, or whatever the hell he is, these guys are all and 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 Bill Clinton is your customer, and Hillary Clinton is your customer, and and your guy Imran Awan, the spy guy, who's Who's accessing the the congressional databases and selling the information out the back door to hostile nations like Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, whoever, whoever? It's it's quid pro quo. It's not. It's really not um, discriminatory at all. It's whoever has the most money gets the information. Right? Wall Streeters. Right? So it, this the other problem with the other problem for the establishment is that. When people realize that Imran Awan and his wife uh, Nina Alvi or whatever her name was, and the, and the six brothers, or eight, eight brothers, or however many brothers, were being paid through congressional funds, they all they all had like like six figure salaries in Congress, right? When people figure out that that was, if you want to see, if you want to assert that somehow the DNC was hacked. Right and 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 some, you know, Russia did it. <laughs> you don't have to look any further. The hack it wasn't probably wasn't a hack. See the 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 Imran Awan situation. Right, if we really knew the facts of how Imran Awan was was uh, operating inside of Congress with these uh, with these uh, servers, we would also know how the DNC was in fact accessed. Was it Seth Rich? Was it a leak? Was it uh, maybe uh, Eric Braverman who blew the whistle? We, nobody knows because the Capitol Police 
right? When the evidence, when when the shit hit the fan with with uh, Imran Awan, and we had all the evidence, the the the, the, the article down below is just another episode in the, in the case where Capitol Police, instead of bringing the evidence to the prosecutors, right? We have evidence. Bring it to the prosecutors. To, to they brought it to the defense attorney. They they hand delivered it to, to to Chris Gowan, Imran Awan's lawyer, who works with the Clintons. Right. So it's so corrupt and so foul. You know, and Trump has identified him as the you know the Pakistani mystery man. But really, the kudos has to go out. I, I got to say, it's got to go out to to George Webb who. Bang the pavement relentlessly, relentlessly, and the follow-ups with Jason Goodman and 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 uh, uh, Char- Charles, <laughs> Charles on Sunday, right? D- following up with the Clinton corruption, right? This is vindication, right? We're vindicated, but there's not there's not going to be any consequence because Imran Awan is going to get is going to get he's going to get let out the back door. There's not going to be any justice in this case. Trump still won't, they, you know, because the Democrats are covering for him around Juan, Trump is not going to, he's not going to push, he won't even call the guy by his real name. But if you, if you really, really want to know what happened in 2016 in the, the Democratic primary against Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, and if you want to go further and understand how how the FBI and, and the CIA covered for Imran Awan and the spy ring to, to, to derail Trump and ultimately frame him as a, as, a, as a Russian agent, when all the evidence is contrary to that notion, right? That, that the, the evidence is in Imran Awan's case and it's, it's bogged down in the bowels of Washington, right? It's just... This is this is it. There's again, no constitution, no separation of powers. Congress Congress tells the judicial what to do, and right now they're trying to get around the executive branch because they don't like Trump, right? But they actually own a, a large portion of Trump's <laughs> stuff, right? He, they own his cabinet. They own, they still they're still in some degree controlling the the, the State Department and the. Uh, the FBI and the CIA. That's why you got to get rid of these agencies. Get rid of, again, get rid of FBI, CIA. Start over. So it's a good day. Daily Caller article is down below. They did an excellent job. And uh, kudos to to um, to George Webb for leading for leading the charge. That's you, George. That's the truth train. That's the George Webb truth train right there. Wow. My name is Marcus Condon. Investigative journalist and candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.